Hello, I'm Claudia Imhoff, and I'm here today at the Composite Software Data Virtualization Day 2012 in New York City. And with me is Mark Pitts. Mark is the BI architect for Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield in Central New York. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Now tell me a little bit of the problems that you've had at Blue Cross Blue Shield, because you've got an interesting problem. Not an uncommon one. I think that's the thing. I, I think our problem is the same problem that everybody has and that we have a data warehouse, but we also have legacy data. In older data warehouses, we have flat files that come in from third parties. We have Excel data, access data that people want to use that previously with just reporting through Cognos, we weren't able to tap into and tie all that data together. What you're tr you were trying to do is bring together the different sources of data, as I understand it. Correct. Yeah. And that's, that's the biggest issue I think everybody, everybody has, because traditional silos of data, and we could either report on them individually, but to bring them together and make sense of all of it, we were not able to do. Okay. Well, tell me how you did it. <laughs> what was the solution? So we started looking at, um, through Cognos, Virtual View Manager, which is composite light, I would call it, an older version, and we realized that it was a solution, however, we needed the full composite product. And that was three years ago we started Proof of Concepts, and over the course of that year, two years ago, we implemented full composite information studio. Now you've also run into a, a, a challenge as you were implementing uh, the composite data virtualization uh, technology, so why don't you talk to me about those as well? I think it was the challenges that you would have with any new product and just the learning curve and different syntax and how do we want to actually deploy the product. Um, but composite um, professional services came in and they have the white papers that say here is a good way to do it. We actually followed their model um, and then over the course of time using their technical support and doing more and more projects really figured out how that we wanted to implement it and use the product ourselves. So they, you would call them, email them, how would you contact their, their support? I, I would do both. Uh, sometimes I would email, which is I believe the, uh, the best way, but they're very friendly so I would just oftentimes call people, um, call our you know, technical support reps, get to know a few of them by name, and we just sort of bypass channels and say, hi, can you please help me? And their response was? Right there. Right oh, every time. <laughs> um, customer support has been fantastic. One of, the, one of the highlights of the product, aside from the technical advantage that it has. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful news. All right, well now tell me about the benefits that you've gotten from your, your uh, efforts. I think the biggest thing is we do have, we do have a pretty, pretty robust EDW um, with a lot of data in there, but it's a monthly snapshot. Mm -hmm. So we also have daily reporting, operational needs, and we have that data elsewhere, and we have legacy corporate data warehouses, and we have flat files coming in. So now we're able to tie all that information together quickly. The agility, the rapid deployment of the product, I think, it's, I think are the two biggest benefits of it. And what we've seen is we have the business now can come to us and say, hey, we have, we have data in the data warehouse, and we want to tie that into maybe this third-party data that we're getting back. And it's just a simple, I mean, literally a simple drag and drop, select with a join, and it's published and out there for them to use. And we've really seen quick, um, quick deployment and then the benefits of that for the business. Well, it's interesting because it sounds like uh, you can quickly prototype something, but it, it, it's more than a prototype in some ways. That's right. I think of it as, I go back to, you know, in the old days, you would prototype things by thinking, well, we need to get this into the EDW consolidated for the user, and you would write your SQL and say, okay, this is how it would join, and this is how it would eventually look once we move it. Now it's, well, I prototyped it, and you're done. Here it is. Deploy it. Look at the data. And you, it's fantastic. So prototype to deployment. Prototype to deployment, yes. Immediate. Yes. Excellent. Well, it sounds like you're well on your way then. I think so. Um, it's, been, it's been great so far, and I think we've just scratched the surface of it, and hopefully we'll see more benefits in the future. Excellent. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. Again, I'm Claudia Imhoff at the Composite Software Data Virtualization Day 2012, and with me again is Mark Pitts from Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And that's it for this, uh, this interview. Goodbye and good business. <laughs>